Good morning, this is Jeff Burton with the Palmetto Community Redevelopment Agency. This is a video of the overview of the Palmetto Community Redevelopment Agency March 5th, 2018 meeting. It is uh, currently on YouTube, should be on our Facebook page and available for all to view. All the documents presented in this can be found on the City of Palmetto uh, website. We are looking at the March 5th, 2018 meeting. Here is the agenda. And this, uh, this agenda is quite, quite simple for a CRA board meeting, but specifically under item number three, we are looking at uh, budget adjustment amendment, item, uh, tab two. This is the actual document for the amendment and the important page is right here. We'll quickly go over machinery and equipment of $100,000 for new signage and landscape on the entrance into the city on North 41. This would be a similar sign to the one that we have currently at the foot of the Green Bridge. And we'll be working with the city of Palmetto, uh, primarily the um, Parks and Recreation to work on the landscaping. Uh, and also we'll be working with Florida Power and Light because they own some of the easements in here. Without them approving this, this won't happen. So this is money set aside for that signage project. We also have $1.3 million and $600,000 for land purchases. These are to be set aside. One is for commercial property somewhere in a downtown for redevelopment purposes. And the second one is for the purchase of affordable housing, dilapidated affordable housing to be replaced in the future by uh, upgraded housing. So the, both of these are in the CRA and they are set aside for that purpose. Uh, consulting, there are four items. One is for $100,000 for planning for the, uh, or the armory building that the CRA currently owns, and it's for historic preservation. There's a June 15th deadline for money from the state up to $500,000 for rehabbing historic preservation buildings, which the armory is one. We'll be working with uh, UGuardian Associates as our CCNA architect on that. We also have the Tampa es Bay Estuary Grant. We'll be working with Eli Arash from Applied Sciences. He's one of our CCNA engineers. He does all our low impact development. And also we're hoping to talk with USF, University of South Florida to join us on that research. This research is primarily garnered for looking at the LID we work we have done, low impact development work we have done that we're going to do and that, and that we have planned to do in the near future, large amounts of that. Uh, the next is $30,000 for pre-application planning for the state revolving loan fund. This is primarily for stormwater work and low impact development falls into this. This would be for the downtown and, and this would be to set up some very large uh, loans that are at 20 years at next to 0% interest. Uh, this would be used to uh, create and retrofit all the parking sidewalks and other pedestrian amenities in the downtown along 10th Avenue before the 10th Avenue project. And it is primarily for LID type work. The last is 75,000 for brownfield cleanup. We currently have three state voluntary cleanup agreements. $40,000 of this money will go toward the Riverside project to remove some dirt uh, that is piled there. And the rest of it will go over to the new uh, Connor Park, if that's approved by the City Commission and the CRA Board, which is at 505 Fifth Street West and formerly known as Edenfield. We also are putting $50,000 back into the, re the residential revitalization program for hurricane housing retrofits. This is different than the, the, the revitalization we had done before. Uh, we are working with Habitat for Humanity and the Institute for Business and Home Safety to retrofit and mitigate high winds on existing homeowner occupied housing, primarily in Ward 1. Uh, improvements, uh, not buildings, this is $400,000 for some parking improvements in the downtown. Uh, this is tied to some work that uh, is being done with the city of Palmetto on Riverside where they're planning on repaving the road. Um, commercial renovations, storefront grants, we are just about out of storefront grant money so we're putting $50,000 back in. Part-time wages is some adjustments uh, since we hired Mike Mayholtz, uh, he, who is a transportation planner part-time. Uh, he's a retired transportation planner and um, he's coming on board to help us with uh, 
more transportation work through the FDOT and the MPO, and he has extensive experience with the MPO. And then uh, in the end, we also have uh, $15,000 for a CRA office, and this is money that will be used to move the CRA from its current location. This will be talked about in just a second. Um, principal CRA loan, we're going to pay some additional money down on the loan payment that we currently have, which is um, in very good shape. And uh, we owe about 25% of what we borrowed, so we are moving forward to continue to pay that down. So that is the budget adjustment. Next, we have um, the storefront grant application. We have one of those. Um, it's a very small one, but it is uh, that will be coming forward. We have legal bills, sorry to say. Uh, we can't get rid of those for some reason. And we have a notice of intent, and this is something that I would like to speak to you briefly about. This is a notice of intent to uh, lease the building right behind this here at 324 8th Avenue West. This is a non-binding letter and it is just basically a, a letter of intention that we would like to lease it to the, the landlord. Um, this may come back as the landlord may counter and we just need a removal of approval and permit the presiding officer to sign the document. So the, basically the property is at 324 8th Avenue West. Um, it's a three year with two two year renewals. Uh, this item could be negotiated to longer in order to get the payment down. Um, this just seemed to be a, a nice safe place to, to start with. Uh, commencement date would be no sooner than April 15th. This would give us um, an extra two weeks where we would still be in the existing building and have that building to move things back and forth. It is currently about uh, 1,900 square feet, which is a little bit less than what we currently have now, but it is better designed for uh, commercial use, where, where we are now is a historic home, and it is also wired better. There's a lot more outlets, and it would be more conducive to commercial use for us. The annual rent is $1,750 to start with a 3% increase every year. That's a currently $250 less than what we currently lease for. Um, and uh, just about a third of the money is just for deposits and first and last month's rent due at signing. So that tells you a little bit of where that money is going for. We also have uh, some IT work that needs to be done and also some new equipment that needs to be purchased uh, for the for the um, the new office. So that's where that fifteen thousand dollars will go to, and we need to move out of our office as soon as possible. So uh, next on the list is um, the agreement with the Hernando de Soto uh, Seafood Celebration. This is exactly the same one that was signed last year. It's for twenty five thousand dollars, and it permits the presiding officer to sign the document. Um, the attorney has reviewed it. Our attorney actually wrote it. So um, that is also on the agenda. Plus we have surplus property. And this happens to be the Riverside property. Here's uh, pictures of the Riverside property. It's, it's ninth Riverside in this area right here. And this is the old gas station site, which you can see actually see Cardno doing some remediation work on the site that's currently fenced off. And then here is a map. Uh, this is the Manatee River. This is the Riverside uh, boat ramp. And this is the property here. We are looking to put some uh, parking along here. And um, this is uh, just to surplus the property so that we can move forward to open it up to the, to the private sector. Um, with that, this is the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me at jburton at palmettocra.org. Thank you very much.